I feel like we need to start with <laughs> New Orleans is very unique and you know we're known for our food and our like kind of crazy diet when I say diet I meant like we eat anything um, and so I think that we will first have to start there Jeanne, like I'm from New Orleans. I'm from the East. I grew up like very active. Like I did karate, I did dance. I was basically in everything. Kickboxing, I was in everything. Acting, I went to acting school. I mean, so I'm pretty well-rounded. I got into sports. Like I don't know, growing up, I was just like a big sports fan. Like I used to watch the NFL, the NBA, things like that. Um, and so when I got in high school, I went to Dominican. Um, uptown area. Um, I, I ran track in high school. Like I was pretty active and stuff like that. Um, after that, I basically went to LSU for athletic training. I mean, I worked with football, volleyball, and baseball at LSU. I and mean, after that, I went to Florida State to get my master's degree um, in sports management, and where I worked with both tennis teams and the surrounding um, sports, whatever they need me at. So I'm an athletic trainer, certified and licensed athletic trainer, but I'm also a recovery specialist. So I have my own business outside of athletic training. It's basically just body recovery, sports performance recovery um, from for athletes and for really people who are active. When I was a freshman at LSU, I was pre-PT. Um, and then I realized that I wanted to work directly with athletics because I'm a big sports fan. Um, and so it was my sophomore year that I transitioned from pre-PT to athletic training. And I knew that athletic training was where I wanted to be because I wanted to work specifically with sports. A lot of people fail to realize that you are more injury prone when you do not recover your body, especially when you're engaging in exercising every day, engaging in sports performance training every day, and you're not doing anything, not even the basic stretches, then you're going to hurt yourself. So that's kind of why I started my recovery business, because a lot of people are not educated on this uh, factor. And it's a very important factor, um, especially if you are going to continue to uh, engage in this activity. And so basically that's why I do the cupping, the grass and the flush outs and stuff like that for my clients. So that's basically, it's bas basically like a body restart. So when the clients basically enter the recovery room, I basically start off with cupping. I mean, the cupping is me lifting the tissue uh, to promote blood flow and tissue healing. And I do the grass tin, which is like a big metal tool that I use to lay down the tissue fascia after a strenuous workout. And then I use the hypervolt, which is used to get out adhesions and knots in the muscle. And then I flush out, basically pretty much flush out the muscle um, to just, it's just like the cherry on top of everything, just flushing out the muscles to get rid of like the lactic acid and um, the rest of the like scar tissues or whatever that's built up after exercising or various workouts. I feel like New Orleans is not, they're not educated on what I do or they just see it on the media and they're like, oh, I want to try it, but don't really know the importance of like really actually doing this um, like weekly. So I think that's pretty hard um, because like I have to, maybe I need to do more educating, um, but I also need people to meet me halfway and really take it seriously so that they can be able to heal their bodies and recover their bodies well. So you would say that's kind of like one of the conflicts they aren't necessarily serious yes, about it? Yes, of course. <laughs> or people, they're like, oh, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come and then never do it. Or like, they do that because like they don't understand how important it is, you know? And so like, it's kind of hard for me to tell them, like it's, I can only tell people so much. Like I can say, hey, this is what I'm gonna do for you and your muscles and your body and everything. But uh, it's kind of hard because like people are just not like jumping on it.
No, never. Because um, I feel like this is my job to educate our community on recovery. Like coming from two um, D1 Power 5 schools, LSU and Florida State, um, having experiences like working with uh, professional athletes in the NFL and stuff like that, it's my job to bring recovery to the table. Like I want to be able to let people experience what I experienced with working with athletes, with working with people who are in the gyms, with working with po sports performance people. So I think that's definitely my job and I'm not gonna quit. So, is that why you came back to New Orleans? It is why I came back to New Orleans. I'm also, I was very homesick. Uh, Florida was cool, like it was, it was a good spot and I had enjoyed my time there. But like this city, like you know, a lot of New Orleans people, they leave but they always come back. Like it's something about this city uh, that draws people back to it. My youngest client is 10 years old. And I love that, yes, I love that because like his dad is like, I'm trying to train him young, like, you know, has that, he has that idea. And I'm like, yes, you need to be doing this for him now as a young youth because he could be used to doing this stuff when he gets to high school, when he gets to college, he's already used to this stuff. He's already used to recovering his body, you know, and that's gonna make him more successful. What keeps me going is that I know it will eventually catch on. And I know I'm doing good for the community. I know I'm doing, like I'm bringing wellness to other people, you know? Like at the end of the day, we all have a mission. And my mission, I can do what I love, which is work with sports or in gyms, and still be able to bring recovery to the table. Well, I feel like we need to start with, <laughs> New Orleans is very unique. You know, we're known for our food and our like kind of crazy diet. When I say diet, I meant like we eat anything. Um, and so I think that we will first have to start there uh, with wellness. Like, you know, watching what we eat, watching what we do. We're eating a lot, but we're not actually like exercising and stuff like that. Um, a lot of things come into play when it comes to wellness. And I think that, for example, my business is pretty good because it's like, I can still like instill that into people, like the recovery aspect. Like a lot of people, I do, we do see a lot of people come in and out the gym and then they're like all hurting and aching and stuff like that, body all hurt. And it's like, you know, come on, get some recovery, girl. Come on, get some recovery. And it's just like, you know, I think that eventually it'll catch on and I'll be excited about that.